Hello, we are here at the Revere Traditional Model Home at Hyde Point in West Jordan. I'm here with Jeff Rogers and he is going to tell us about our green homes. Well, thank you. Happy to be here today talking a little bit about the Ivory Green uh, program and what makes our homes green. Um, to start out with, you know, we we look at a, an energy efficient home by looking at a TERS score. It's a home energy rating system score. And you think of it a lot like miles per gallon, except with this, you want the number to be lower. So in our average home, we get a TERS score of 53. That's comparable to a typical new constructed home being built today that may have a Hearst score in the high 60s if it's being built to code minimum, or even an existing home that may be 10 years old could have a Hearst score of 120, 130. So what that's looking at is all the features of a home from the insulation to the windows to the mechanical systems, and it's all modeled to give a score for how that home rates. This particular home we're in today has a HERS score of 52. So like I said, we have an average score across all our models of a 53. Um, all of our homes come standard with all LED light bulbs, which is going to save 50 to 80% in energy costs over a traditional old incandescent bulb. We also have a high efficiency, 96% high speed, high efficiency, two stage variable speed furnace in all of our homes and then R23 blown in blanket and that's superior over a typical bat insulation because that R23 blown in system it can fill all the the nooks and cracks inside a wall behind you know light boxes and anything that might be in this wall and then in addition to that we have a uh, standard dual glazed low E vinyl windows that have a average U value which is a a uh, ratio of heat loss for, um, on those windows and the average is a 0.29 which is um, better than code minimum which is 0.32 and once again on that it's a little bit uh, opposite of an R value in a wall where the higher the number the better a U value on a window the lower the number the better so that's just kind of an overview of our program awesome let's head downstairs and talk about the speech the features specifically <laughs> So down here in the mechanical room, uh, start out with, we have a high efficiency condensing natural gas hot water heater. Um, this is a, a high efficiency unit. It's going to extract um, you know, more of the energy and heat out of the gas that's burned than a traditional hot water heater. In addition, it is a closed combustion system, meaning that there is no risk of backdraft uh, over a traditional atmospheric vent water heater. The combustion air is piped directly in, the exhaust gases are, are piped directly out, a sealed system. It also eliminates the need of a lot of older homes may have an open combustion air pipe in the mechanical room for combustion air, the appliances. With this being a sealed system, it eliminates the need of having that open pipe that can introduce hot and cold air into the home. Um, in addition, we have our 96% um, variable speed, two-stage gas furnace, and how that's um, advantageous over a traditional system as being a two-stage uh, gas valve instead of just being on or off at high capacity it can actually go on at a lower capacity if there's a lower demand for heat and then if there's a higher demand it can go to that second stage so it saves uh, fuel and it's more efficient in addition it's got a, a variable speed fan on it that can ramp up and ramp down depending on um, the airflow needs of, of the system at the time. Um, for example, this system we have set up to run continuous at low speed, which means it's always circulating air throughout the house and, um, and just keeping the home more comfortable. Uh, one other thing that's really great about our homes is we use a MERV, um, a MERV 11 high efficiency filter. This particular home does not have one in it right now, but that will just give you an example of a traditional uh, filter that is just a regular um, fiberglass filter. 
um, which has a very low um, filtering capability, but every home comes standard with a, a high efficiency pleated media air filter, which will help reduce the allergens and the dust and the pollen in the home and help keep the air clean and healthy. Great. And that's an overview of the mechanical room and some of the systems we have in our home. Great. Let's go back upstairs and we'll tell you about the other features that make your home energy efficient and can save you a lot of money on your utilities every year. Again, we're in the Hyde Point model home and it's gorgeous. If you haven't seen it, you can make an appointment to come and view any of our model homes with an agent. Okay, so here we are back upstairs. I mean, like we talked about earlier, um, you know, we have all LED, high efficiency lighting. We have the high efficiency windows, 0.29 U value, which is a superior over a, a code built house. We have the R23 insulation in the walls, which will help keep the home comfortable. Um, in addition, every home we build is third party tested by an independent energy rater. And what they do is they will go through at, while the home is being built and verify the ducts and all the systems are installed properly and sealed. In addition, at home, when the home is completed, they perform what's called a blower door test. And what that is, is they pressurize the home to determine the air leakage of the home. Um, currently code is three and a half air changes per hour and that's how many times the air changes through the house and that determines leakage. Right now, majority of our homes are testing right around three or below three. Now, what that does is make sure that the, you know, that whether you're heating or cooling your home, you're keeping that air in your home. Now, one of the drawbacks of that is now that homes are being built tighter, um, you know, there's less chance, it, it kind of affects your indoor air quality, so you wanna make sure you keep that healthy. And like we talked about downstairs with the high efficiency MERV 11 filter, in addition to one other thing I'll show you right here in the bathroom. Whoops, I turned around in this house. <laughs> bathroom right here. Um, we have a fan that is set to run continuous all the time at a low, um, at a low rate. So it's always moving air and helping to ventilate the house. Every house has at least one of these. So it's always helping exchange air in the house. Some of our larger homes may have two, but then of course, when you need a little bit extra ventilation in your bathroom, you hit the switch, it ramps the fan up to a higher speed. Um, one other thing I'll point out while I'm here in the bathroom is our toilets and our um, standard lavatory fixtures. Um, standard um, flow rate on a, a typical toilet is about 1.6 gallons per flush. We use a higher efficiency toilet that's rated at 1.28 gallons per flush. In addition, all of our bathroom fixtures are EPA water sense certified. And what that means is that they are, um, EPA sets a guideline of 1.5 gallons per minute of total flow. And these actually, most of our faucets, it varies by style, but most of our standard faucets we use are rated at 1.2 gallons per minute. In addition, um, a shower head, those have to be rated under two gallons per minute to meet the EPA water sense certifications. And our, most of our shower heads are actually rated at 1.75. So we're using less water in the house, but the way these are engineered and designed, it doesn't affect the overall performance of the fixtures. Awesome. So as we wrap up, does anyone have questions about our green homes and what makes them green? So with all of these features, you can save up to $1,200 a year on utilities and imagine the possibilities of what you could do with all of that money saved. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.